What's going on everybody? My name is Mitch Tabian and this is another PL SQL developer tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to go over, actually I'm just going to go over one math operation and it's going to be the sum operation. Uh, so we're going to be working with our inventory table just like before but I'm going to do it in a new SQL window just to make things look a little better so you can keep an eye on this table. So we'll start with the select statement. Oh, I'm going to use an alias here. Um, if you're unfamiliar with aliases, go back a couple tutorials. I went over these. Uh, it's just going to name the columns so it makes more sense. Some quantity. And I'm going to rename this one as total stock. Make this window a little bigger. Stock. I'm going to select it from the inventory table with the variable name i. And this is very important here. If you use the sum command, you have to use group by. And we want it because we have to um, declare how we want to group the items. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to sum the item quantity, which is, you can't see it, this this column right here in this table, it's going to sum the item quantity and then we need to specify how we want to order it. So we want to order it by the item name here. Because there's more than one lettuce, there's... Actually, that's the only double there, but... So you need to specify what you want to order it by in case there's duplicates. Or group by, sorry. And we want to order by sum... And let's do it in ascending order. So we can see our output here. Uh, actually, the only duplicate we have is the lettuce. So all we need to check is that there's going to be one lettuce in the item column because we've declared this alias item. And it's got to have eight lettuce. So let's take a look here. And there's eight lettuce. That's it for this tutorial. If you like the video, don't forget to like the video. If you want to see more tutorials like this, subscribe to the YouTube channel and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.